Renee here aka Jasmine and I'm back to you with another video. So today we are showing you this nice holiday makeup glam which you can rock for your Friendsgiving or Thanksgiving and if you're interested in this video please keep on watching. Alright guys so for this look I primed my eyes with the Laura Mercier Ultra Long Wear Concealer and this is in the color 4N. So usually when I set my concealer on my eye or when I blend out my concealer, I use a sponge, but I used a brush on this eye and it really helped with the color payoff. So I'm just gonna use a brush to blend that out. And I'm just stamping it in instead of sweeping over it for a more full coverage look and then I also need to take some of that concealer and like conceal my brow because I did not do that so after setting that I'm just using my Jaclyn Hill Morphe palette this is her original palette and um, I'm gonna use this red color right here Y'all bear with me. I usually do voiceovers For my um, makeup tutorials, but I'm trying to You know get with the talking with you guys And so I just I thought I knew how to do eyeshadow And then I was like sis you don't so what I've realized is that stamping the shadow in before you blend it out pays off so much better. Like this, you can see this pay off really well. And then you're just going to blend out the edges. Especially with the, because um, every time I try to prime my lid with concealer, I would go sweeping on eyeshadow and was wondering why it kept coming out so blotchy. And that's why so you have to pack it on first and then blend out the edges like that so the next color that I am going to use to deepen this is just gonna be this deep garnet reddish color under it just to add a little bit more depth I'm gonna go in with this brown color and mix a little bit of this one in and I'm gonna put that in like the outer corner and then blend it into the crease. This is like a good Friendsgiving look. So when you wanna show up and you wanna pop out a little bit, sis, this is the look. So the first step, I use the Milani Luster Light. Um, this is their Hypnotic Lights. Um, so it looks like this. But so yeah, so I'm just gonna take a brush like this and then get some of that product off of here. And then I'm gonna like cut the crease very slightly. So I layered a few glitters. So I layered um, this red on the outer part of the lid and then this gold on the inner part, and then I topped it off with Trophy Wife from Fenty Beauty. And you can leave it just like that, but like I said, I added Trophy Wife on top, just to be real, real extra glitz, extra glam. So, because Trophy Wife is one of those products that you don't use like every day. And then I'm going to go back in with the deeper browns. So these two browns. And just deepen this outer corner and kind of brush it into the glitter to make it blend. So... And so then once you're finished buffing that in, you may need to go in and, you know, like I said, go back in and just clean up, make sure you're blended everywhere. And then I went ahead and did the under eye. So for the under eye, I'm just taking this red color again and just putting this 
under the eye and I take it pretty far just because we have not done our base yet and that's where we can clean it up and then I'm going to take a different brush and get the darker browns to go right up under the lash line next I'm going to line my um, bottom lash line and I do not have a good um, black eye pencil so I am using the uh, NYX liquid matte liquid liner and I'm just gonna pull my eye down just a little bit and line it now I don't know anyone else who lines their lower lash line with liquid liner but you gotta do what you gotta do and then also we're gonna go ahead and line the top I, I suck at eyeliner. That's why I tell everybody, I ain't no Emmy Way. <laughs> um, so I'm using my uh, L'Oreal. Is this L'Oreal? Yeah, my L'Oreal Paris Last Lash Paradise. And I'm gonna go ahead and do my lower lash line or my lower lashes, which I don't do good at this either. But the look comes together, sis. It does. By the grace of God. And I'm putting a little bit on the top. I'm going to go ahead and do this in my brows. Even though I'm going to have to do it again after I do um, my base. But the lashes that I am wearing today are the Icon Lashes. This is in the style Drunk in Love. And I love these lashes. I have been wearing them a lot recently re-wearing them. I'm gonna go ahead and put on the lash and then also for my inner corner highlight and my brow bone highlight, I'm using the Makeup Revolution Strobe Highlighter in Gold Attic. Mine, the top came off and so I just put it in a Ziploc bag because it is all over the place, but it is so beautiful. So yeah, so I'm gonna go ahead and put my lash on off camera and then we will be back and we're gonna do the face. All right guys, so before I get started, I'm gonna go ahead and use some of my Tatcha Luminous Dewy Skin Mist. I'm gonna use this and just prep the face for a nice glowy, we're gonna go glowy, but matte. So like a real matte glow, not dewy. Yet. I don't know we're, we're gonna we're gonna see where this goes um so I've been all over the place and I know I need to go to Sephora to get um my foundation matched again right now the only foundation that I have that matches is my um NARS all day long oh, natural radiant longwear foundation and this is in Macau um but I'm like just about out y'all it's so empty so I think I'm gonna try my old handy dandy Milani 2-in-1 Foundation Plus Concealer, and this is in Soft Sable, I believe. No, this is in 13 Chestnut. Um, so first, for primer, I'm going to use my Becca. This is the Ever Matte Poreless Priming Perfector, and this is my jam. This is like so much jam, I love it. This primer is great for people who have like oily skin. Um, right now, I'm in between. I would say I, I have oily skin, but my skin starts off dry. So because of like my acne products that I use, my skin is drier than usual. My skin used to be very oily before I got into using and trying out a whole bunch of different acne products. Um, so yeah, but over time of me wearing this foundation or wearing foundation or makeup throughout the day, I get very oily, like right here and in my T-zone area. This makeup routine will kind of show you how you can try and camouflage your Dr. Pimp Pimps. So like this one on my chin, I popped it and now I have like a scab. I know I'm not supposed to be popping pimples, but I do it. That's why I got all these scars. But, um... So yeah, I have like a pimple on my forehead. And so we're just gonna kind of conceal them so you can still look bomb for your friends giving. 
Um, and so, yeah, so I'm just going to take this foundation. And what I'm going to, I usually just take the lid off if it's one where you could take the lid off. And then I just go like that. That's probably not good for you to do. But that's what I do just because I feel like I get enough product instead of pumping for days. Now, as you can see, it looks a little red on camera. And then I do a very small amount of product on my forehead because that's what you have to like blend into your hairline. So when you get to your forehead, you want to kind of like blend on the the protruding part of your forehead and then when you get towards the edges you just want to kind of buff the edge kind of like blend the edges out kind of how we stamped in that eyeshadow color and then we blended the edges out that's kind of what you want to do with your foundation on your forehead so you're not winding up with a pound of foundation in your baby hair so this pretty much concealed it's still peeking through a little bit so i'm gonna add just like a little dab more of this foundation on my chin and kind of just blend around it and then we're gonna go in and conceal so the concealer I want to use today I'm just gonna go ahead and use my born this way Too Faced born this way concealer this is in the color butterscotch and this this one isn't as yellow as I want for this look but we're going to make it a little bit more yellow with the setting powder. So I'm just going to use this under the eye. And I'm not taking it up too close because that's when you want to, we're going to go in and um, blend carefully. So we don't mess up all that under eye eyeshadow that we've already done. And then I'm just going to put a touch a concealer on my chin because we don't want to bring too much attention to that pimple but we do still want to highlight so I'm gonna use the butt of my sponge that has the foundation on it to blend this out lightly and again once you pounce on the pimple like once or twice you want to blend around it and again when you get to the forehead and you start blending that concealer out you want to use the butt and use like that excess foundation to kind of like blend it out awesome so next we are going to take the black opal this is their foundation stick and this is in the color black walnut and what i like to do is warm this up on my hand somewhere where i don't have a swatch already warm this up on my hands and then use my sponge and pick some of the product up and then warm up the skin nice bold bronzy contour and then we're also going to put a little bit around the perimeter of the forehead and so now I'm gonna set the under eye with the Too Faced Born This Way um, setting powder now now this is if your friends giving is at like 3 p.m. you can use this powder um, this is in this is translucent medium now I wish Too Faced would come out with like a 2.0 version of this that don't have no flashback because this product does the color is literally like perfect like it's the perfect yellow color it's not like too orange but it's not like too white but it does have um significant flashback so please be aware of that before using this product a good alternative is um the sasha buttercup powder which is like twenty dollars um the black radiant setting powder i tried it out i need to try it again because i did get a little bit of flashback the time that i used it but a lot of people have been raving about it so maybe maybe if you don't bake as much as i do and you just lightly sit then you can um use that powder but that one's very affordable um i've heard about the maybelline fit me i don't have a one that i bake with but i do have a darker one that i set like the rest of my face with and it's really good too all right so now that we're all kind of set here, I'm just going to take that excess powder 
and pounce it everywhere else all right guys so i'm using the morphe bronzer palette this is in the color showman's and this is what we're going to use to set the contoured areas of the face next before i sweep this off i'm also going to add some blush so the blush i'm using today is the nude blush 10 color blush palette and this is from bh cosmetics and i'm just gonna use this darker peachy color over here and i used to not use blush like that but honey my pictures have been looking amazing just by adding a little bit of that blush on the cheeks so now i'm just gonna go in with my sephora micro smooth powder as i always do to dust off this extra powder so we're just gonna dust that off and kind of blend everything together and on the chin you want to just press it in where you have those like pimples you just want to press it in on top of that you don't want to disturb it too much i'm just going back in with a little bit of that red color to blend out that shadow that we had under the eye um, and so the last thing we are going to do is highlight the face and like i said we are using the makeup revolution strobe highlighter and this is in gold attic and then we're just gonna go ahead and set it and i'm using the Mil milani <laughs> make it last setting spray this is like one of my favorites um now for the lips i was debating and contemplating between using um i believe it's uninvited unveil by fancy beauty but i'm thinking i want to do more of a lighter shade <laughs> all right so i found them i have all of them except that pink one just because i already have a pink color like that i'm gonna use unbutton that's the, that's the color i'm gonna use i'm gonna use unbutton but i am gonna kind of line my lips with unveil oh yes this is so pretty this is exactly what you guys need for the burns all right guys so i don't know if i should let my hair down or not okay so i'm just gonna <laughs> we look good sis we look good okay all right guys so this is the finished look i hope you guys enjoyed this makeup tutorial let me know if you are attending a friendsgiving have you ever had a friendsgiving I had my first Friendsgiving like two years ago and it was actually really fun. So you should definitely think about having one. If you guys enjoyed this video and want more makeup videos like this, please let me know in the comment section below and give me a huge thumbs up. To all my new subscribers, hello, welcome to the family. I love you guys so much. And never forget, at the end of the day, without regrets, love yourself. And be you, Tiffle. Bye guys.